For your pre-trip, you need to know a few main components of the trailer. Here you're looking at the trailer wire harness plugged into the back of the tow vehicle. This is your trailer hitch pin in the unlocked position. And this is your trailer hitch pin in the locked position. You notice the blue tab is down. These are your trailer safety chains. You notice they're crossed. We're gonna keep them crossed just in case something fails with the trailer or the hitch. The chains will catch the trailer and hopefully prevent from hitting the ground. This is the trailer ball latch and safety pin in the locked position. This is looking underneath the bow of the boat at your winch and safety chain. You wanna make sure the winch is tight and the safety chain is on. This is looking at the back of the boat at both straps that attach the boat to the trailer. You just wanna make sure that they're tight and secured. This is the motor lock in the unlocked position. When trailering, you wanna put it in the locked position as shown here. Just as a procedure, after opening, replace your lock on the holder so that we don't lose it. Open the gate fully and back the driver to the top of the ramp to continue setting up for launch. Place the vehicle in four high. Put it in reverse and make sure it's engaged. Come around, remove the rear straps. Take your straps, place them in the back of the truck. Undo the front winch on the boat and the chain. Turn both battery switches to the on position. Place both trims to the highest position and start both engines. Flip your port side engine into reverse and lower for no more than two seconds. If it's lowered more than two seconds, the engine will come in contact with the back of the boat. When backing the boat down the launch ramp, leave both engines running so that they're thoroughly warmed up before deploying for rescue. Use both your crew members on the dock to help guide you down the launch ramp. Both crew members will hold on to ropes, advising you when to stop. Once the trailer is in the water far enough that the boat is floating away, they'll advise you to stop and then pull the boat off the trailer. Once the boat is free, They'll advise you to pull forward. Crew members will then tie the boat off to the dock and continue getting the boat ready for deployment. It's important to know that these antennas need to be down in the trailing position, but before deployment, extend them up and lock them, shown here. Everybody in the boat must be wearing a PFD at all times. Power up your accessory lights if needed, your GPS, and your VHF, which turns all your radios on. If the accessory light is not needed, turn it off. The channel we're looking for is channel 16, which will get us to the Coast Guard, and set to channel 2 on the David Clark. This is pulling away from the dock on a typical day out on the water with a flooding tide and a wind at about 15 knots. When pulling away from the dock, turn your reverse engine to forward by raising the trim and flipping it to the forward position. 
place your engine trim back down in operation. Also flip your engine locks to unlock position for traveling forward. This is going to be our docking procedure no matter what the situation is. If it's a flooding or an ebbing tide, this just happens to be a flooding tide with about a 15 knot wind. Approach the dock slowly, take your port side engine out of gear, raise the trim up all the way, rotate to reverse, and lower no more than two seconds. This is going to be your engine in case you need to use reverse. Using your starboard engine, come past the dock, turn around, tell your crew member to throw both buoys out and grab a line. Approach the dock slowly with the nose of the boat so that the crew member can step off the boat onto the dock and help guide you around the dock. The tides here can be pretty strong. The crew member on the dock will help you come around the dock safely. Taking the boat out of the water, back the trailer into the water, using your backers to tell you when to stop. If you back the trailer too far into the water, the tide will take the trailer away. As you notice here, the, the trailer will slide a little bit into the dock. Once the trailer is deep enough into the water, use the engines of the boat to power slowly on to the trailer using your crew member help guide it up. Once your crew member tells you to stop, hold slight power on the engine so that the boat will not slip off the trailer once you're here. Attach the winch and winch the boat on completely and attach the safety chain also. Turn the engines off and make sure the boat stays in the middle of the trailer after you pull the boat out of the water, make sure to switch from four-wheel drive to two-wheel drive to avoid any maneuvers in four-wheel drive on dry pavement. Before trailering anywhere, make sure that both your antennas are down and locked as they are tall enough to hit obstructions and will break. After any time Rescue Boat 1 is used, we want to make sure that we open up all the hatches just to cut down on mildew and wear and tear from the water. Plug the charging system into shore power and make sure that both battery switches are in the off position. The water in the bay is extremely corrosive. We want everybody to wash the boat thoroughly after each use and put the lines away properly for the next person to use. After thoroughly cleaning the boat with soap and water, we want WD-40 to be placed on the metal parts like the muffler you see here to help with corrosion.